Hello, my beautiful gamers, and welcome back. It's me, Siren, and today we are on another episode of Starfield. Now, in today's video, we will probably finish up the Vanguard story mission. Because in the previous episode, we found out a lot about the Terramorphs and how they work but we still have so many questions that don't have answers for example we went to the planet where all the terramorphs are and you know the planet they took over we went there and we found out that someone was somehow controlling the terramorphs because the moment we kind of helped them and set them free they came to our side and helped us fought this big ass ginormous terramorph that was kind of like in control of them it's a very strange concept we also found out that the lady whose name i can never remember H hadrian her dad knew about the terramorphs and how the terramorphs grow and develop because we also saw that we had like first-hand experience on how these terramorphs were created and it's essentially this small little heat leech that turns into a terramorph when exposed to the strange alien-like plant so the plot thickens and everyone suspects that all the terramorph attacks were actually planned and intentionally done so in today's episode i'm pretty sure we will finally find out what's going on and you know put an end to all this craziness before we get into the game however for those of you who are curious i'm sorry for the long gap in between the videos but i had a few very long days and then as luck would have it i got sick and to me, this was really frustrating because I don't usually get sick often. I, I don't really get sick, in fact, but this year I've been getting sick so many times. I feel like this is the third time in a very short time. If you guys have been here for a while, you will know. I think I got sick during the trip Become Human and then during something else now. I can't remember. I don't know if it was the quarry or in the beginning of Starfield don't know but it's really frustrating so yeah sorry if i sound funny sorry if i'm a bit low on energy and that but i i am better but i'm still not a hundred percent there so yeah <laughs> with that out of the way let's finally get into the video and let's game okay here we are ready to confront ve victus but my character has multiple ailments I can relate. Um, what is your issue? I have hyperfermia and something else. I don't know. So, <laughs> let me quickly cure those. I don't want to struggle the entire time. What is that? I don't know. Oh, whoops. I didn't cure myself properly. I need... Whoa, that cures many things. Oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I cared. I, I did care my things, I just had a blonde moment. Anyway, let's talk to Ve Victus and see if he is guilty or not. I'm also going to grab a throat, sweetie. Well, what a pleasant surprise. When I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian of all places, I presumed you must be onto something big. Did you find what you were looking for? Oh, we found a lot. Oh, we did. And a whole lot more. Yeah, I feel like this is the closest to how I actually responded. Don't play dumb. We know you were behind the attacks on New Atlantis and Tau Ceti. I don't know. Is there anything you want to tell me about your time in Londinian? First one, definitely. Good news then. So, what exactly are you doing here? Plenty still to be done in defeating the Terramorphs, no? We found a recording of you discussing the use of Terramorphs as weapons. I know you are involved in the attacks in Tau Ceti and New Atlantis. Please stop. You murdered UC citizens and you're going to pay for it. Now, confess! Did you? 
I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions. After all, given the Cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. No more lies. Confess or I turn over what I found. Sorry, I'm telling the cabinet what I learned. Consider this your chance to come clean. I've got no plans to tell anyone. I just want to know the truth. So you really don't know anything about the attacks? Is that what you're claiming? Uh, see, I would still like to believe that all the blame is pointed towards him intentionally and that there's like this big plot twist and he wasn't the one that orchestrated all of this. But it no longer looks that way. Come clean. No more lies. <laughs> you know, you're far more clever than I expected. You want to hear the words then? Yeah. I did it. The terror morph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. Because you're a madman and a murderer? And you live to sow death. To work on something that long? This seems personal, definitely. No better way to show the U2 what a deadly weapon they have in the Lazarus plant than to use it. Associate. Who have you been working with? We'll get to that. This was personal. You can be more right. The attacks were a correction. When I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found, but we were at war. And I couldn't risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport, fixing two problems at once, halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak and sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. See, this is what makes me feel conflicted because did he do the right thing? No. But he made a difficult choice that seemed right at the moment because this is sensitive information and you don't want it to fall in the wrong hands, but sadly he is the wrong hands. And maybe he never even planned on using the Terramorph information and actually did try to stop it, but remember he got arrested, so he's probably mad about that. So maybe initially... He did have good intentions. I'm not justifying his actions. But I do get it to some extent, if that makes sense. Something amiss, Captain. Please, no secret is so dangerous that you can justify condemning so many lives. You just said it took you years to use the plant outside Londinian. You killed them for nothing. That information should have been handed over. Secure it to keep it from ever being used. You didn't even trust your own people. One of these two, because he did kill these people, but it was for nothing. Because he just used it in any way. But people should have known about this. They could have stopped the Terramorphs if they knew how they worked. It's easy to judge now, but the Freestar Collective had spies everywhere. I do believe In that. In that moment, I wasn't about to add another dangerous variable to an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. Mm. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy. No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. 
She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. What? I'll ask about it maybe. I didn't know you cared about his daughter that much, or is that just some sort of excuse to justify and make heroes out of them and their family name? Like, I can't fully place if he's just being vain and idealistic, or if he's actually very ambitious. And honestly, he did make a smart plan. In his point of view, he did right. And the only reward he got was jail time. And in, your time then. in his situation, I would have been upset too. And an elaborate scheme to make your child a hero is to some extent understandable. You're crazy and you're trash. <laughs> but I, I kind of get it to some extent. Um, why does that name sound familiar? Give me a recap again on him. Can't remember the many lives you've taken. No. <laughs> Orlais was the man whose death you brought about around the moon of Etheria. Okay, no, I was correct. The, warlock, the man I had to eliminate to hide my secret. Yes. Couldn't remember if it was someone we met on Mars or if it was the guy that I mistakenly killed. The reason I said mistakenly is he asked me to kill the guy. Someone else asked me to bring him back in. I didn't want to kill him, but it was a space battle, and I, I couldn't remember how to dock his ship. So it blew up. So, my bad, I did technically kill him, but that was not my intent. Okay. <laughs> you have my undivided attention. How did you coordinate all of this from here? It wasn't easy. But the beauty of being loathed is that people will do whatever they can not to deal with you. They wanted to pretend I didn't exist. And so I used their blind eye to my advantage. Still, establishing a back channel to Orlais via the UC recovery teams was painstaking work. I've led campaigns less nerve-wracking. They believed they were luring in wanted criminals, but were in fact delivering precisely encoded slates filled with instructions invisible to any but their recipient, dropped off at just the right moments to fall into the proper hands, all without the UC realizing whom you were actually dealing with. Slow work. <laughs> but as you can see, ultimately effective. I hate characters like him because I feel like... Uh, the characters like him make me feel like I'm a bad person because... He's genuinely intelligent. This is a smart, elaborate scheme. And it's ambitious and crazy and he pulled it off. And it's kind of... It's cynical, yes. And it's horrible the way that he did it. He, he killed so many innocents and then killed so many more innocents just to make a hero out of his daughter. But damn, you gotta admire the... I don't have a good word for it. The, the ambition, the tenacity. Like, it's impressive. It's bad. But it is impressive. <laughs> okay, what shall I do? So you murdered UC citizens. Your time, then. Because of some slight against your honor, you're sick. There are no heroes without a villain. True. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago? I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the Cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? 
with only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. This is sadly very true. The fact is that he could have just given over the information and it would have been over and done with. But he came up with this elaborate scheme just so that someone could actually have recognition. And the fact that he had to go through so many lengths to achieve that, I feel like, in my opinion, it shows that there's an error in the system. Because you have to work for the vanguard for so long and go through so much to just potentially become a citizen in the city. And it's cool if you think about it, but you have to go through so much, is it even worth it? So he simply created a monster to create two heroes and... Something amiss, Captain. Technically everything worked out. Lives were lost in the process, which is completely and utterly wrong. But the fact that he came up with this scheme because of the fact that people are the way they are is kind of sad if that makes sense i don't know if it makes sense i'm overthinking this let's move on <laughs> they'd be hon honoring me for cleaning up your mess you're being honored only because i arrange the situations where it could happen that's true be grateful and let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaza's role in the attacks to the Cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was our lays and our lays alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Oof. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to tell the cabinet. That's all I can give you. For now, I don't know. Well, I do hope you'll keep the larger perspective in mind, Captain. We've done something great here. Let's not squander the opportunity to do more. I really do hate characters like him. I really do feel like he brings out the worst in me because, once again, he's useful, he's smart, he's resourceful, he's intelligent. We can use a character like him. He can be useful. He can help us track down criminals. He can be deployed for good. But does that really justify the amount of lives he took? And the fact that he betrayed people just for some elaborate scheme to honor his name, make his daughter a hero? Who knows? Like, I feel like that... That question differentiates depending on who you ask. Because, again, Hadrian now got her place back. She is now a full-fledged scientist. She does what she is good at because of what her dad did. If he simply told the cabinet from the start, she still would have been working hell knows where, accomplishing nothing, you know? So, if you really think about it, his scheme did help as much as it damaged. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The Microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Oh, that's good. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? Yeah. So. As much as I am neutral towards their victors... I am not going to lie on behalf of someone else, even though it may be beneficial towards me, 
I prefer honesty. They victors confessed. He organized the attacks from his cell. I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew. Why? Did he say why he did it? Yeah, he did it for you. He said he was trying to fix the damage done to the Sanon Sanon name. Make you and him into heroes. <laughs> it takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. He deserves punishment. He asked we leave out his involvement in the attacks. Says to consider the lives he helped save. But does his good deeds outweigh his bad? Who knows who am I to make the choice? I'm sure he did. But he killed dozens of people. And I'm not about to let him get away with something like that. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the Cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Uh, yeah, let's talk through everything, but once again, I'm not justifying his actions, but he was put in a very difficult situation, in a difficult position. He did not make, I'm not saying he made the right or the wrong choice, but he did make a choice in a very tough situation. But he should have just come clean with the information from the get-go. We shouldn't keep the cabinet waiting. Which method of dealing with the Terramorphs are you two leaning towards? I do believe they're divided. Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. Yeah. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant. And then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being mm. paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. Yes. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in. See if they have a preference. Yeah, I'm not too keen on using the microbes because there is that one percent chance that it can like mutate into a bigger problem and i feel like science like that is a bit more finicky so both approaches to clearing our worlds are effective against the heat leeches they are microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy and the Asili seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> I am leaning more towards them. What kind of risks are there if we decide to bring back the Asilis? Asilis aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. Yeah, and I also feel like with the Asilis, it's a more natural approach. It's the hunter and the prey. And they're not dangerous towards humans. And if you're stupid enough to go pick a fight with a giant ash creature, you're gonna get what's coming to you. So, you know, just leave the, the poor animals alone. So yeah, I think I like that approach much better. What do you think the cabinet will do when they learn about Ve Victor's involvement in the attacks? Who knows? It's hard to know. Unlike my father, the cabinet aren't butchers. But killing UC citizens, along with everything else he's done, is unforgivable. But if you're really that concerned, you could request they be lenient. 
they might be willing to spare him. But what's the point in sparing him? If he's kept alive, we should at least be put to good use. There's nothing else on my mind, though, so let's go. Then here we go. Yes, here we go. Taking our very slow steps towards the cabin. Cabin? Cabinet? I don't know. While my adoring fan is awkwardly blocking the way. I can't bring you anywhere. Just pretend to be normal. Pretend like... You've been here before or something. And up we go to the stairs. Into the room where important choices must be made. <laughs> Sorry, I'm delusional. Hi, guys. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? Um, that is correct. It was a deliberate attack. Yes, but don't worry. You found the culprit. We've. Is the second report from who I think it is? Yeah, he, Vivek just did say he was gonna send a report. Yes, it was deliberate. My god. An attack? Using terror morphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? Adrian, I think you should tell. I'm sorry, I need more time to verify something. Lie. Yes, it was Orlais. Also, I believe if I lie, Hadrian is just going to correct me in any way. The report isn't the whole truth. Orlais, la la la, helped. But Ve Victus organized the attacks. Once again, I don't necessarily see him as entirely evil i think he's smart and ambitious and diabolical but i ain't lying on his behalf <laughs> um even though i feel like it would be beneficial keeping him alive because uh he knows locations of more criminals and things Silence like that gets us nowhere closer to our answers but i'm not lying for him it's true ma'am i heard the recording myself my father figured out how to use terramorphs as weapons he did what? That, that, that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. Definitely. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling, considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? Why would I make up something like this? Play the records. I'm just going to play the records. I don't see why I have to explain myself, even though I just explained myself. And now she's asking me again. Why would I lie? Here you go. The proof is in the pudding. It just... Heavens help us. I, is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? Are you sure? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We 
failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Vevicta sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. Good. The world is better without Vevictus in it. Whatever the cabinet thinks is the right course of action. I would request I would request his life be spared. He did help us against the Terramorphs after all. What's going to happen to him? Can you ensure he has no more outside contacts? He used to use the faction to get out a message. You know what? I don't think he deserves this necessarily, but I am also the type of person that believes most people deserve a second shot. And who am I to say who gets... I do gets not appreciate information being withheld. ...to live or die. And even though he helps us to for his own gains and for his daughter, he did help. So maybe we can spare his life. Maybe he can be useful in the future. I'm not sure I see why someone with UC blood on their hands would merit leniency. But I will note your request when the decision is made. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives, but it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Yeah. I also feel like the less people know about this, the better. Um, securing the plant isn't enough. It should be wiped out. I believe the other factions should be involved in securing the Lazarus plant. Oh. Like, I feel like the less people who know about this, the better, but this would do so much good for the Alliance. And remember in the beginning of this quest, you know the people, I can't remember their names, that worship the serpent, that We're guy said, you, Captain. he'll give us any information we need if we can ensure that their people will have a better name for themselves. And I feel like we owe it to that guy that they should share it with the rest of the faction leaders so that they are all on the same page. But shouldn't exterminating the plant be top priority? But nature is so finicky. I feel like they would exterminate the plant and then all of a sudden the disease would break out where you need that specific plant for it. So maybe not. Tell the Freestar Collective. Wow. So they have another tool to utilize against us? I'm in agreement. I fail to see the value here. See, that's the problem. His first reaction is, oh, so they have something else to use against us, but you're supposed to be in an alliance. Gather your thoughts and let's continue. You're not supposed to think, oh, they can use this against us. It's supposed to be a union on equal grounds. It will demonstrate to the collective that UC isn't planning to secretly use this down the line. The UC doesn't exactly have the best track record. This would ensure good behavior from both sides. Oh, that is an interesting idea. A grand gesture to further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. Yes. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So, you want us to make nice with the Collective by sharing our state secrets? No, I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions, that the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kalkarni. Very well. We'll get the Collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. And the other guy. So then, to our final topic. Yeah. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heatleech's presence on human worlds. 
In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. We have the same problem. Major. We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. I, even though the microbes are safe, it's a science that these people understand. There is that 1% where it fails or it mutates where the Asili's might take too long but i still think i prefer the more natural approach by deploying the Asili's. deploy the Asili's safe throughout terramores have caused enough damage they need to be wiped out quickly with the microbes do we need to do anything shouldn't securing the lazarus plant be sufficient huh I still had questions about the methods. These are topics of the utmost importance. Take your time. The plant will be secured, but more of them can grow. I feel like let's go with the Asili's. They're, they're safer and more natural. It's how things are supposed to go, you know? I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. And Major Sanan? Dr. Walker? You'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class 1 citizens to our ranks. Class 1? Wow. For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Guys, I hate to say this, but the reason why they are now Class 1 citizens is because of Vevictus. As bad as he was, he did ensure a life for his daughter. Thank you, Madam President. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Oh. Quest complete. A legacy forged. And an achievement. Wow. We did it, guys. Enjoy the penthouse. One of the finest views in New Atlantis. What did you just say? Enjoy the penthouse. One of the. I get a penthouse in New York. You got quite a bit of work ahead of you, Captain. Best get to it. Oh my goodness! I'm Let pleased me... we'll be working together. You seem like a person who gets results. Yes, I am. Check in with your commanding officer. 
Yeah. All your future assignment will be born through him. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go talk to him and see if I have any missions left for the UC Vanguard. I do believe I still have to claim my title, essentially. Uh, this is not where I wish to be, but let me just go to my journal since so much is happening now. Uh, faction. It does seem that I am done. I'm quickly heading to the Vanguard which is basically the mast building, to go to the buddy that sits over there that recruited me to hear what he has to say. Um, because they did inform me that I can go talk to him. He does have missions for me, but also they said something about something about something. So let me check. Oh, no, this is John. Oh, no, 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 it's his surname. Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you, Commander. It's an honor. No need to thank me. You brought this all on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class 1 benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. I go... I just got a whole lot of credits and I'm getting a free penthouse. I, uh, whoa, this is incredible. Higher ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. No, just take me to my damn penthouse. your standard vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. No. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up terramorphs. Yeah. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? Um... I can take them some... You know what? I like this new alien thing. This sounds interesting. Sure. He'll have all the specifics. If you find yourself looking for more work, you know where to find me. Yeah. These are just little repeatable side quests. That's really interesting. I need to figure out this penthouse situation, though. So that is definitely what we're doing next. Let me jump into my missions again. Um... I can't find my mission exactly. So yeah, yeah, I, I I can't find my mission. But according to what he said, I have to go to the Mars district, and I am there. And then I have to go to some or other office. Informed us of your new status. Keeping the skies safe out there. Stay safe. I have to pick up my apartment key somewhere, and I, I I don't know where I would do that. Let me see. I don't know if I have to be here or if I have to be outside. I literally just googled and I'm still unsure of where to go. Because Google essentially says, head to the Mast District. I'm gonna just teleport exactly to where I am. Um, and then you have to go to some sort of building. And by that building, you pick up your keys for your apartment. That's the residential district. Why is it so unclear to where I should be going? <laughs> Or maybe I'm just an idiot and I'm not finding my quest. What is this little building? This does not seem to be anything. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. I'm sure it's here. Hello? Hello? It's a buyer's market right now. Good time to make a move. Well, well. If it isn't the United Colony's newest class one citizen. You've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher-ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. Whoa. 
It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Yes, please. Great. You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Thank okay, you. You're all set. Oh, Your thanks. new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. Now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. I mean, I love that I have a dream home. Do I press L to select that mission? Oh gosh, guys, I don't know where my missions are. I just don't. Let me teleport. Uh, to the residential district. There's the quest. Mark. I don't even know how to mark the damn mission. Uh, what did I want to say? Oh, I I started the game with the dream home perk. If you don't know, it gives you a house, but it's very expensive. You have to like pay it off slowly but surely. And I really love that house. It's really cool. It's like a tiny little mansion. But now I have a penthouse in New Atlantis. I mean, New Atlantis is kind of the place to be. So this is good. Um, in Mercury nice Tower. For a picnic. My so my parents wine, also live here somewhere. No I have the kids stuff trade. My parents do take some of my money. Why? Did, I, I'm just gonna check my quest tab again, guys. I can't find it. Keeper Aquilus delivered what was by all accounts. to look some of the final stuff. I'm just- I'm just gonna run around. The game is pretty, we can admire the views together. And my lack of stamina. I'm just going this way because that seems to be a big building. Um... I really just want to see my penthouse. Is this where it is? No, this is Pioneer Tower. This is where my parents live. Seriously? This is Apollo Tower. Okay, all the towers some seem to be named. Alien virus. Oh, that's scary. He said his friend got some weird alien virus. This is no longer the residential district. Leave it to me to find a penthouse and then get lost and drag you guys along. I do leave timestamps though. The question is, will I leave a timestamp informing you that I'm lost? Who knows? This is really not funny anymore. Oh, here it is, Mercury Tower. It was written in like very strange text, so I didn't realize I found it. Okay. I just press any button, so I'm assuming it's taking me directly to my penthouse. I'm assuming this is the lobby. That's another elevator. Locked. I have the key. Welcome to my humble home. This is quite similar to the one my parents live in. It's just much bigger. I love the wood detailing. I love how... Obviously, it's a futuristic game, but it's so modern. But it keeps the wood de detailing, and then it has all these nice little lights. This is a good penthouse. Did you open my door? Look at all the additional storage. Beautiful big kitchen. Nice fridge. A door to a pantry, I believe. And then over this way, I presume is a stunning balcony with a phenomenal view of the planet. Look at that. Oh. Oh. I feel so treated. This is a little nothing room. I mean, this can just be an office. It can be storage. It could be a walk-in wardrobe. Why is my door open again? Can you not? Then we have a room here. Stunning bathroom. It's very large, Whenever very empty. I'm lost, 
I think, what would you do in my shoes? I can't get into my own shower. I've got small feet. I have small feet too. Then we have a room through here. This is surely the main bedroom. I'm assuming you put your bed here. Looking that way. Because you have this cute little view. I'm assuming this is another stunning balcony. Oh, yes, it is another stunning balcony. Where you have a bigger view of the city and lesser the surrounding area. Still gorgeous. And then I'm assuming bathroom. Yes, master bathroom. Big shelf, big shower. Um, double sink. Uh, enclosed toilet. I do like that a lot. I love seeing it. And then here I presume are two smaller bedrooms. Yes, bedroom number one. Amazing light. Creeps me out a little bit. Nice wardrobe space. A lot of storage. And then... <laughs> a washing room. Oh, I like that. This is a very good penthouse. I love this. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is good. Okay, guys. On that note, I will be ending today's video right here. We finally completed the entire Vanguard faction quest. I really enjoyed it. I thought I was just going to join the Vanguard and it was going to be like, okay, cool, done and dusted. But it was such a good mission with so many new characters that I really liked a lot. And I fully enjoyed it. It was, it was really fun. I can't wait to do more factional quests. If there is a, a faction that you would particularly like to see, let me know. Then I can prioritize that faction because I do want to do all the factions before I complete the game because I did find out that the factional characters and some additional NPCs are included in your ending and since this is such a big game I am enjoying just taking my time with it. I know a lot of people have played it and played till the ending but I just kind of like taking my time and then when a new game comes out we can play that and always come back to Starfield and you know I'm just enjoying that. But yeah, sorry it was a shorter video today, but I'm not feeling too great still, and I don't want to start a new faction quest now. I mean, we could have done some little side quests, but those aren't too interesting, so yeah, I hope you guys are happy with today's video, and that you guys enjoyed it and are excited to start a new faction mission story thing. <laughs> a side note. Thank you for all the messages you guys left me um, telling me to get well soon and things like that. It really meant a lot to me and thank you so much for being patient with me while I take forever to bring out more videos and giving me the time to recover. So yeah, I really appreciate that. But yeah, I hope everyone has a lovely day. Stay safe, stay healthy. Oh my gosh, please. <laughs> it's not fun being sick. But yeah, that's all my complaints. This is my very long and winded outro, but you guys are used to that by now. So yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.